all right guys so here's my second video on these second review I felt to do another video because my first one I put up was quite basic so I want to give you more of a in-depth review on these after using them they're quite pricey as well so before you go and buy them just want to tell you the pros and cons and stuff all right so let's open it up and i'll give you a look at what's inside i've <clears throat> been using them for nearly a year and um there are pros and cons to using these they're very different than the uh cordless super taper and the cordless magic clip so let's check out what's inside the box <clears throat> get your grades here you get six grades and they are one to eight um, it's missing the five and seven but on the back of the blade you can adjust from zero up to a one to get your five and seven so get six grades there these are really well made nice and strong and they're slightly slimmer um, they cut through the thicker denser hair quite nice quite nice and easy However, I don't like the way they slip on and off the clipper. It takes a bit of time, so you're going to have to angle it correctly and slide it on and then use a bit of force to take them off and then change. It just takes that little bit extra time than clicking on and off the uh, regular wall guards. Um, also, there's no holder for these. You can't you can't buy a holder. There's no holder designed. So when they're sitting on the shelf there, they just have to be flat like that, taking off a bit of space. Or so when you're working fast, it can get a bit messy. And on the top, they're not numbered. So if you don't know them well enough, like let's say the one and two sitting next to each other, if you don't know them well enough, um, you're gonna have to look at them look underneath for the grade for the number so that's a bit annoying as well you know I'd like to clearly see what they are also this number one here if you if you do a lot of zeros ones into twos this number one here is quite wide tooth so when you cut with that it does leave longer hair marks so it's not as clean as the usual wall number one click on so I don't like that grade for me right nice charging station nice shiny black charging station this is great this is fantastic there's no faults with this it charges the clipper really well made really well really strong and sturdy and you just put the clipper on like that right so there's no faults with that that's really well made that's a good plus point nice and quicker to take off the clipper on and off charge in a busy shop um, makes it easier than toggling off the charger off a, a wall cordless super taper or a wall cordless magic clip so a much better charging station I wish the um, other cordless clippers came with something like that so that's a pros <coughs> here's a cons or a negative is that you pay you pay the price for these clippers they're about 150 quid some even nearly 200 quid some just a bit lower um, will give you a really flimsy thin cord which I feel when I travel around and pack these up I feel I have to be really delicate really gentle not to not to break or snap these or for the internal wiring to come out um, because it has happened in the past with the wall detailers that had the same cord and, I, and I've had to replace them twice so uh, I feel with the money you pay for these you should get the thicker charging cable that you get with the wall super taper cordless and the magic clip cordless um, so that's just a negative to these standard wall clipper comb medium size good for uh, Clipper over combing and blade oil and brush there. 
really big manual, really thick manual. Um, that's just your instruction booklet and warranty. Again, it's covered by manufacturing defects within a year, so if you do experience problems with these, you can take them back to where you purchased them, and you should get a replacement or get them to fix them. Right. With this scissor handle, this revolutionary scissor handle, this technology here, I found that I didn't use it. I always, I always had it off. You know, it's. I guess it's made for security, um, because the clipper is so thin. Um, it's made so you don't drop it out of your hand. You know, but uh, I feel it limits my my movement, what I want to do. You know, I can't move my hand up and down the clipper when I'm cutting. So it's just stuck there. So I, I felt I didn't use that much. Um, just press the button on the bottom there and you can slide that back off. So I didn't really use that. That didn't benefit me, it actually limited me. So I didn't like that about these. Um, overall though, the clipper is fantastic and looks really nice on the shelf. You know, if you've got some really good kit, some really good scissors, tools, combs, clippers, these just sit fantastically next to them. Not only that, the cutting power is great. Um, they cut through the thickest, densest, curliest hair, difficult hair with ease. And I feel that with this blade set, it is really good. It's really sharp and powerful. And it does take off hair really easy, but I feel that's what I use them for is just to take off bulk hair and to do a lot of um, a lot of clipper over comb work and take off bulk. Uh, that's pretty much what I use them for. I won't go for them if I'm doing a skin fade, for example, purely because most of us are used to um, adjusting the blade set with the thumb lever here. And on these, on this blade set, this uh, German engineering blade set, the toggle is on the back there, where you've got a 1, not a 0, 2.5, 0 0.5, uh, 0.75, and a 1. So each time, if, you, if you're doing a skin fade, or if you're doing a, a 0 into a 1, uh, you're going to have to kind of toggle that and make sure you're in the right setting there's not really an in-between so it's not as free cutting as such um, so that doesn't really suit the way I work but it might suit others for me it's something that I didn't really like um, as well as slipping the grades on and off and not having somewhere to put these grades other than that though these are really well made and really powerful compared to other wall clippers before it. This is uh, probably one of the most powerful. Um, let's quickly show you how to take the blade off. Just uh, hold the clipper in your hand there, right near the top, put your thumb in the middle and push back. And you're able to take that blade off. You can give that a quick blow drying brush to clean that up. Spray a bit of a uh, spray in there and this clipper head you can you can give that a wash even oil and spray and um, replacement whatever and put it back on now just get that that bit of the blade set into there um, and just pop it back on like so all right guys so that's just my quick review on these my second review, a bit more detailed info for you lot. I feel that I don't really go for these as much as my cordless super taper and cordless magic clip um, based on the way I cut and stuff. These for me are built more for bulk cutting and doing buzz cuts like a, a number two above all over or on the sides, bulk cutting hair off, long hair and clipper over combing. Uh, so that's the purpose for these I feel. Um, 
All right, guys. So let me know your thoughts before you uh, go out and buy these because they are quite pricey. Check out this video. Uh, these are what the pros and cons and what I experienced um, after using them for almost a year. Um, they're great and powerful. They do have a, a good purpose, but due to the awkwardness of them, I feel I don't use them as much and I prefer the wall cordless super taper and magic clip. Um, as a third clipper, if these are next to those, fantastic. So that's my opinion and review on these. All right, everyone, take care for now. Hope you enjoy, have a good day, bye. All right, guys, so here's my second video on these, second review. I felt to do another video because my first one I put up was quite basic so I want to give you more of a in-depth review on these after using them they're quite pricey as well so before you go and buy them just want to tell you the pros and cons and stuff alright so let's open it up and I'll give you a look at what's inside <clears throat> been using them for nearly a year and um, there are pros and cons to using these they're very different than the uh, cordless super taper and the cordless magic clip so let's check out what's inside the box <clears throat> you get your grades here you get six grades and they are one to eight <clears throat> 